There's a perception that specialization leads to success, but does it bring personal fulfillment? Krishma met up with a wellness guru who's pursued her dual passions for yoga and Ayurvedic cooking and found happiness and success in the process. Durban-based Nalini Hanuman is a certified yoga teacher who specializes in the Iyengar form of this ancient discipline. Pioneered by BK's Iyengar, it is particularly suited to restorative therapy. With busy careers and social lives and an increasing pressure to keep up with the fast-paced world, a stressful lifestyle has almost become the norm. Unfortunately, stress is the main ingredient to a whole host of health problems. And it's interesting that even though modern medicine is advancing daily, more and more people are turning to holistic therapies to help themselves heal. I'm here with Nalini who holds yoga and Ayurveda close to our heart and uses them to help heal people. Iyengar Yoga makes use of props to help students perform their postures correctly while also minimizing the risk of injury. Hello Nalini. Hi Krishma, lovely to meet you. Welcome to Mela. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. From one yogi to another, Namaste. Ah, namaste. <laughs> Nalini, take me through your yoga journey. Well, my very first lesson was when I was eight years old. I grew up in Peter Maritzburg and there was a very small little studio close to my home and a friend and I decided to start our first class. And I think from then, I was bitten by the bug of yoga, as you say. So my background has always been with a foundation where I've been totally, totally inspired uh, by the Iyengar lineage or by Guruji BKS Iyengar's teachings. What do you love about the Iyengar style? The Iyengar style really resonates within my own body because it has the most incredible and profound effect I find on my nervous system and just on my body in total. Now I've been doing a lot of restorative lately because I have a hip injury but I've been working so I've missed my session this week so I'm so excited to get started. That's wonderful Karishma, let's get you into your postures. Nalini has helped to bring the benefits of yoga to communities who never before had been exposed to its healing potential and has also assisted with mass events to mark the International Day of Yoga, which is celebrated on June the 21st each year. So Karishma, I'm going to put you through Sukta Vadakonasan. And this for me is one of the most healing postures, especially for women. We're going to take the step around the sacrum. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together, allow the step to move around the feet. Just tighten it as much as is comfortable for you. Just draw the heels in towards yourself, tightening the belt. Gently lie down over your bolster. That feels amazing. With this posture, we create this wide angle in the area of the reproductive system and in the area of the digestive system. Do you think yoga has become more and more popular as a form of alternative therapy? This is a 5,000 year old system, in fact even older than that and it has been tried, tested and it is still here and thriving. Tell me more about authentic Ayurvedic cooking with Nalini. I'm passionate about authentic Ayurvedic cooking. Would you please teach me how to cook something? Of course. <laughs> Let's go. Now that we've had a chance to freshen up, I'm starving. What's on the menu? Well, Karishma, we couldn't have asked for a more perfect day to cook our kitchri. And I'll tell you a little more about that. Um, our kitchri, you know, uh, is in Ayurveda, one of the most healing convalescent foods. Basmati rice grain is one of the most widely used grains in terms of healing. And we use white basmati rice because it is very, very easy to digest. So I've soaked this mixture overnight. Where do we start? We're going to place the rice and the dal into our pot. And with that, we're going to place a liter of water. And from here, we're going to actually put in some fresh turmeric. This is your fresh turmeric. Looks like root ginger. Oh, my best, you can't beat it. We'll put in some ginger, which is warming. We're going to allow this to come to the boil and then just allow it to simmer. Nalani, how do we know what dosha we belong to? The doshas are made up of the elements that are, make up the universe. So the air, ether, fire, water and earth elements make our constitutions or our doshas. So each person has a combination of these different elements within their system and that is why it's important to have this knowledge. So Karishma, we can see that the kitchri has come to a boil and at this point I'm going to add in some rock salt. 
And we're going to allow that to gently simmer. Just giving it a stir. I have healed myself many times through change of diet, but it's not the easiest thing to do. Do you have any tips for someone wanting to change their diet? Simple tips is about eating locally produced food. It's about eating seasonally what is in season. And again, having that information and knowledge about your dosha type. You would then have the awareness to make choices based on that. Our kitchen is almost ready. Looks like it is. <laughs> I'm going to add a little ghee. Ghee is known as yoga vaha and we know that it allows all the herbs and spices to move throughout the channels in the body. So it takes it very deep into the tissues of the body. Karishma, you can pass me the bowls and I'll just dish out Go. some kitchri. And you can see that the fresh turmeric has given it a very subtle flavour, also a subtle colour. For these different kitchris, we're going to make different tempering spices. So to pacify vata, we place a little ghee into our pan. Krishma, if you would like to maybe put a bit of mustard seeds in there and some cumin seeds and a little bit of what we call asafoetida powder or hing. This is the sound of a good bagar or a tempering spice. When everything pops, we know that the medicinal value is released. So we pour this over the kitchen to pacify the vata dosha. To make the vagar for our pitta pacifying kitchen, again we add some ghee and we'll add fennel seeds and some fresh curry leaves. So fennel seeds we know has a sweet taste and your curry leaves we know has that astringent bitter taste and this is to pacify our pitta dosha and to pacify the kapha dosha. Kapha dosha again is very damp and wet. So we have some lovely warming spices in cloves, a few cinnamon sticks, and a few cardamom pods. Just gently pull that over. And there we have our vata pita and kapha pacifying kitchris. This looks so nourishing. I would love to try a little bit of everything. If Please, possible. Karishma, you're more than welcome. Let me hold that for you and. really is comforting, nourishing, soulful food. Kashma, you're so welcome. Thank you. I'm always happy to impart what very little I know. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.